What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. So you guys knew the end game for this whole situation. You already saw the writing on the wall when they first started talking about this from day one, okay? This whole Sweet Baby Inc. thing, the Gamergate kind of resurfacing. Ultimately, the goal is to limit your freedom, you know, to take things away from you that you love, you know, because they got a problem with you. You know, it's not because you have a problem with them. It's because they have a problem with you. You know, Sweet Baby Inc. detected, you know, with Cabrutus comes out there and says, hey, I'm just going to set up this little curator group. I'm going to stand it over here to the side. If you guys are interested, check it out. You know, it's just telling you what game Sweet Baby Inc. worked on. Oh, oh, we don't like that. We don't like that. You are pointing out that Sweet Baby Inc. worked on certain games. Like, what if you were a fan of Sweet Baby Inc. and you wanted to get all the list of their games? There it is right there in this little Steam curator group. But see, they know what's up, okay? They know that they were pushing an agenda and that people were going to check all the way out. Gamers were like, oh, crap, Sweet Baby Inc. worked on this? I'm done. I'm done. I'm not messing with it. Thank you for putting that together, Cabrutus. You know, they understood that this was what was going down, and that's the reason why they reacted the way they reacted. And so once again, now we got to come back to this crap. All right. You can see this has been posted on Twitter uh, by the ADL. Locked all the comments off, by the way. All right. Can't reply to it. But here's what they said. Uh, As digital social spaces, online games should be regulated to address hate and extremism. It is vital for Congress to examine extremist radicalization in these spaces. And we are grateful for Rep. Lori Trahan for leading this effort, an important piece to read. And yes, this article uh, that's on the Hill. I love the community note that they added. Thank you for adding this. Okay, there is little to no evidence that people are being radicalized through online gaming. This is simply to push for further surveillance of the public disguised as a goodwill gesture to combat extremism. People pride. Uh, primarily play video games to simply relax and have fun. Yeah, yeah, that's what people do. They like to have fun. They like to chat with people online. And yeah, sometimes things might get a little, you know, contentious, you know. That's just part of being a human being, you know. Now, here's the thing that I don't like about this. Like, male spaces, okay, I'm talking about, like, primarily what guys like, okay, Guys like things a certain way. You know, it's like, yo, we like our geek shit. We like our nerd stuff. We like our video games. We like our comic books and all of these types of things. And look, you're welcome to come in. I'm not a gatekeeper at all. But at the same time, let it be what it is. And if you're coming into this, you know, online gaming space and people are talking trash and making fun of you and, you know, you know, like dancing over your corpse as they, you know, defeat you in battle. It is what it is, man. You know, in the terms, get good, get good at what you do. It ain't enough to be sitting up here crying. Nah, stop all of the tears and the waterworks. All right, turn them off. Get better. All right, you're in a, you're amongst guys now. All right, you in a guy space. That's what I hate, man. Like you and your homies is doing something. Everybody's having a great time, man. We all having fun. We know we being, you know, knuckleheads and you know <laughs> we disrespecting people. We don't care. We love it, man. That's what we love to do. You know. And then along comes Polly, you know, some little softer than Charmin asshole that want to come in here. Hi, guys. Can I join in? And you guys already looking at him like he a snitch. He going to snitch us out. Right. You already know that. You know, yeah, man, as you grow up again, you kind of put that stuff aside. But the reality is, is, look, man, this is online gaming, man. This ain't nothing serious. OK, we're all having a good time. This is just the way we unwind and relax or whatever, you know. Again, it's the same thing with any kind of nerd shit, man. We talk shit, man. That's what guys do, man. We talk shit. I don't care if you're the nerdiest of the nerds. If you got some knowledge and you a little bit smarter or better at somebody than somebody else in the group, you talking shit, man. That's just how it is. All right. A lot of us is like that. And so when you're in that kind of space, you just got to recognize it's not hating extremism. Okay. All this other stuff, it's just hating extremism. It's not hating extremism, all right? It's just guys being guys, all right? Locker room talk, that's it. That's all it is, all right? And guys understand this, you know? But you're talking to people outside of that, man. It's these, you know, little cats that want to tell on you to the teacher and shit. Like, man, get out of here, man, teacher's pet. Like, they out here, you know, running to the principal's office and shit. Like, oh, it's vital for Congress to examine extremist radicalization in these spaces, Congress, Congress, help, help, Congress. What they're like telling on us to the teacher and shit, right? Congress, please limit their freedoms. They're being mean to us, you know? And look, like they're talking about extremism. Look, there's extreme people in every space out there in the world, okay? 
It's always some knucklehead that takes shit a little bit too far. All right. Deal with them people on an individual basis. I 100 percent agree. A lot of these spaces have moderators that say, oh, you towing too far. You up out of here. You know, online spaces and games, we moderate ourselves for the most part. Yeah. Will there be some Yahoo that's just a little bit too crazy? Sure. There's always going to be that everywhere, not just in online games, not just in social media. You know, that's where like this article from the Hill goes wrong. Let me get that up. And here's the article on the Hill. Regulate toxic online video games the same as social media. And somebody tell me, what is a toxic online video game? Like, how do you determine what a toxic game is? What makes the game toxic? You know? Is it because, you know, people are talking trash? You could talk trash off of Pokemon if you want to. You're like, what's a toxic online video game? The whole title of this article is stupid to begin with. But I was noticing something with this. Like, they're playing Madden, you know? And it got me to thinking, like, okay, they want to tamp down on all the extremism, you know, in online spaces, social media, video games, or whatever. That's what they want to do. What about the extremism that you see from sports fans, you know? There's sports fans out there that if uh, if their team wins a championship, there's a whole lot of extremism going on there. We just heard about that with the uh, Chiefs, you know, some knucklehead shot and killed a woman, you know, at the parade, you know, and sometimes after they win the championship, you see the people just destroy the town, right? They go downtown and they just rip the place apart, looting, robbing, tipping over cop cars, setting them on fire. How come they don't say anything about that stuff? Oh, they'll show it on the news, but where's the congressional, hey, Congress, we got to do something about this. How come that stuff never happens? Never happens, okay? They just, oh, they just let, you know, the law take care of it. Well, let the law take care of this, too. There's no reason for any extra oversight. Again, it's just, here's the real issue. I'm going to show you where it's at, all right? We're going to skip past all of this stuff, all right? Let me get to the real problem that they have, okay? Uh, these efforts to rein in social media, they're talking about the previous paragraphs. They want to rein in social media. Uh, it overlooks the gargantuan online gaming industry. Uh, video games comprise the largest entertainment industry by far, grossing almost $200 billion in revenue in 2022, more than the music and uh, film industries combined. I've been telling you guys that video games is the biggest, okay? It's the biggest and it's not even close. You know, bigger than film in terms of entertainment, bigger than film, bigger, bigger than music. You know, video games is top dog. But see, this is what happens when you get big. They got to get control. That's what it is. If things start to get too big, uh oh, we got to get some control over that so we can use that for our benefit. You know, so that Congress and all of these cats that want to control everything, these authoritarians, they want to use it to their benefit. They don't want to, you know, oh, we just got to watch out for the extremism. You know, you know, what do they say in here somewhere? Um, yeah. Uh, child safety measures. We need some additional child safety measures. You know, there's too much toxicity and extremism going on. No, it's just a matter of, hey, this thing is big. Yo, we can get control over this and we can control this thing, kind of what they want to do with social media until somebody like Elon Musk steps in. You know, they want to control it. The largest entertainment industry by far. They want to control it. Two hundred billion dollars in revenue. You know, and then again, it's the same thing that we talk about when it's Marvel uh, or, or if it's Star Wars or if it's Star Trek or any major entertainment franchise or IP. They want to use that. They want to control that so that they can steer conversations with it. And same thing with video games. It's no different. It's no different here. Okay. Again, that's what they're doing. So gamers, they're coming. Okay. Get ready. They're coming. They're trying to control, regulate, monitor your industry. That's basically what this is all about. Yeah. So since these guys locked off all replies, uh, yeah, let's check out the view quotes. Let's see what people are saying. Yeah. Straight up. And her erotic. Fuck off. Yep. Exactly. A drinker of tears. How about no? That would be a blatant violation of the First Amendment. Yeah, it would be. But when does that stop these clowns? Uh, D-Day Cobra. Uh, they're going to make this about Trump all over again. It, I think it's about Trump, but it's also bigger. You know, again, this is about long term control over a space that they currently don't control. They don't have any ability to regulate. Uh, Lorena Creole, uh, enjoy that well-deserved community note and ratio in grace. Yeah, 100 percent, man. They got ratioed into oblivion. Uh, I don't care what you say. I'm not buying the trash. All you people do is defame people nowadays. Someone should sh sue you out of existence, I guess, you know. But yeah, I mean, basically what they're saying, look, these guys are just all about the control an act of hate and extremism. I'm not buying your games. Oh, boy, the evil I do. Yeah. I mean, again, just think about where this started. Again, somebody just trying to curate this, uh, you know, uh, a curator group 
for a sweet baby ink. But they used it. They were waiting on this moment because now say, okay, now we can use this whole situation to point out all the quote unquote uh, hate and extremism. Okay, we're going to point out all of this hate and extremism. Look how they're treating these poor little this poor little sweet baby ink group. All right. Where the woman came out there and said, if you ain't getting your way, terrify these uh, game developing companies. All right. Go terrify them, you know, so that way you can get your way. If they don't do what you say, you know, threaten them. You scare tactics and bully tactics. Do do that. Yeah, but they're talking about uh, extremism. You know, it's a ridiculous. Laughing my ass off, you stupid motherfuckers. Welcome to the Thunderdome, man. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a battle, man. Uh, Grums, OG, oh, all of a sudden, the ADL and other organizations uh, that gamers had a huge mobilization in the elections. That's why you are seeing this now. Boom, he nailed it, all right? He nailed it. Again, it's all about controlling the space so that they can get out of the space what they want to get out of it. You just having a good time talking trash, blah, 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 okay? But then they'll start to monitor you. Oh, you're talking trash. Okay, we're going to keep our eyes on you. You know, again, that's what they do. And it's nice that you have like a social media spot like Twitter or X now. We shouldn't even call it Twitter because Twitter was a mess. X is better, okay? Because now, hey, it, it's, it's, it's not the best platform. It could be better, but it's better than what we had. And, you know, there's more freedom to just say it what it is that you got to say and see. And again, he sees it. Absolutely. You know, gamers had a huge mobilization. You know, they want to control this stuff. All right. They want to clamp down on this stuff. Oh, man, you guys got way too much power. OK, it's too many of y'all floating around over here. OK, what was it? Almost two hundred billion dollars. All right. The largest by far. Boy, if we can get our control over that, man, oh, baby. OK, so, yeah, you know, again, this is all because they want to push their messages and their ideologies. OK, and the gamers, they want to shut y'all up. They want to silence you. So get ready, guys. I have a feeling this is going to be a fight that's not going to be uh, pleasant. It's going to go on for a long time. They're going to use all the, the the necessary scary language. OK, exposure to hateful speeches, routine while doxing. Uh, yeah, which I disagree with. I don't agree with doxing. OK, I think that that's bad. Physical threats are also common, but they're not common to that point. OK, everybody that steps, they make it sound like everybody that steps on to one of these online gaming spaces is going to get doxxed and is going to have physical threats. That just doesn't happen. That's just not true. But they got to make it sound like that in order to get that power. OK, so they write articles like this, scaremongering. Oh, well, you guys better watch it. You know, like they do all of this type of stuff so that you will be afraid or they'll scare the people that they need to make afraid. You know, so that they can get what it is that they want. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think about this situation. I think we in for a long one, okay, on this one. It's not over by any stretch of the imagination, even after this year is up. You know, the election year, once that's in the rearview mirror, trust and believe they're coming after the gaming space because it's too big and it's too powerful, okay? And they understand that and they like, yo, we got to get our control over that. You know, we can't just let it be. We got to get a control over that space because of the power that it wields and it goes against what we want to do. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.